everyone and welcome to uh, another one of my videos um, and in this video I will be talking about my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. Um, I've actually titled, titled it um, from pre-cert, uh, pre-cert obviously uh, video and uh, to Blu-ray uh, which I'll be going through all my uh, videos of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre up, right up into the Blu-ray. Um, so let's get started. I'll, first, before I get started, I'd like to give a shout out to Disc Junkie, um, as I've been following on his YouTube channel. Um, he's got the most impressive Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection ever, I think I've ever seen. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so, welcome to you, uh, Disc Junkie. Um, so, let's get started. Um, so, these are my first two preserts. <clears throat> um, these were done by Iva. And these were issued in December 1981. Um, now I have two videos here. Um, uh, one of them is signed, as I can just show you, by Gunnar Hansen himself, uh, which I got signed or a good 15, maybe 15, 16 years ago. Um, I bought this video along with when he was in one of the Forbidden Planet stores. Um, so these these were the one of the first. Uh, videos which released in the UK. Um, I quite like the detail of this sort of, uh, this, this lovely artwork I think is great. Um, as you can see both videos are exactly the same. Now the only difference I can, that I've, I've noticed on this one, obviously this is how it's meant to be spelled, uh, how it's meant to be spelt the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but if you look on each video it's actually got chainsaws spelt one word, which which was I don't know whether they made it a mistake there, but chainsaw is spelt chainsaw, not as in chainsaws in one word. So these are the two first releases that that came out. Um, like I said, in in, in 1981, um, they also released uh, in June 1982. They also um, issued um, a striped painting version, um, alternative with either brought out an. Um, a strike painting version, which I'll show you just in a second. So this is uh, also done by Iba. Um, you've got uh, the company Video Gold there, who's actually probably supplied the, the video itself. Um, now on the back of this one, on on the other one, they had obviously they had the writing, um, obviously the the cast and whatever, and they didn't have any pictures included on this one. Um, but on but on this one they had you can see they got pictures of the movie here um, which is quite interesting for people to see what the film's going to be about if they've never seen it before this is another one by Iva this is probably one of the rarest ones around if you can find it um, all these videos that I have of the Texas my preset ones uh, were passed down to my dad um, who collected them during the sort of eight, early, very early 80s um, <clears throat> I saw this film on probably must have been about seven years old with my old man. Um, yeah, I've been to horror since then, so um, seven years old, seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, it scared the shit out of me, but loved it. Was, <laughs> loved it anyway. Um, but this is the um, striped painting version from from Iber Services. Um, I'm not sure how many copies these were. Th these went about. Not re not really sure at all. Um, but I haven't. I've seen them come up on eBay a few times. But the other ones that I've just showed you, they come up more than probably this one. Um, but yeah, I like this one. Uh, it's a nice strike painting version. The next one I have is also done by Iva. Now I haven't seen this one at all on eBay, not once. Now this looks like because I know Iva released it like in a slipcase one time. Now I'm not sure if how it's meant to be. This is very very old. Uh, I'm not sure if the top was, if there was, um, um, if it was a cover on here or on the bottom here, and it was, it was it would slide out. Um, it looks like it's been torn off over the years. I'm not really sure. This is the this is an original slipcase one that I that as well I brought out. Um, again, it's just got the starting um, that you see on the start of the Texture Chainsaw Massacre. It's got no pictures. Um, I imagine that's it says two five five six. Imagine that's maybe the video shop number. I'm not really really sure. Or R five five six rather, if you were. Um, and this has the original X on it, London. That the other ones didn't. But this is the uh, this is like an original slipcase. If I can open it up there, 
That's the, uh, the videotape there. I put a bit of blue tack on there to hold it together because it just fall apart. But this is a very interesting one. I do like it. Um, like I said, if you can pick one of these up, I imagine this is probably worth a bit of money. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but I've had it for a, a good... Well, since my dad's had it, my dad bought it back in the 80s, so I imagine he, I'm not sure how much he would have paid for it then, and it would have been in a better, better condition than it was and it is now. Like I said, I'm not sure how it opens out, but I imagine it opened, it opened, that would have opened out like that at some point. So this is the uh, one from Iba, which included the other big box versions like this artwork on the front. They released those three, and then in June 82, I think they then they released that striking that striped painting version. So these are the three that they released first. So that was this is the uh, slip box case uh, version of the film. Uh, the next one I have is um, I'm not sure which language this is. Um, possibly German, maybe. Um, no, Netherlands. This is Dutch. This is, the, this is a Dutch version. I picked this off a of video fair. Didn't pay very much for it. Um, I wouldn't imagine it's worth that much money, but I do like, they, they still they, they have the pictures on there for you to see, which is quite good. I like, pitch, I like pictures on the back. Gets to get to, to see what the actual film is about. Um, to show you the, the side of the video cassette here, as you can see. Um, this is done by Converge Video. Uh, like I said, picked this up at a video fair. I like the artwork. The artwork's pretty funny. Um, not my choice of um, artwork to put. If, I wouldn't put it on there, but you know, I, I do like different videos of different, you know, all, all different stuff around the world. So, you know, different companies release different covers, which is pretty interesting. Um, so this is the um, this is a Dutch this is a Dutch version of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The next release I have is looks like it's from Australia. I see it's a uh, 18 is actually R. Um, this is another sort of painting version release of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, on the back, it's, obviously, it's got your pictures on there. Um, yeah, not a bad little, not a bad little video. Um, I do like the cover. The cover's pretty funky, um, but apart from that. I don't know how many of these were released. I picked this one off. I think I picked this one off of eBay actually. Um, probably paid about six, seven quid for it. But it was interesting. I've seen it. Thought, got to have it. Interesting. It's a nice little price. Um, yep. Yeah, so it's not a bad little cover. So the these next two I have. Right now, I'll put this one aside. This one. Um, this one I picked up in 1997 from a video store in Florida. This is also when, the, before the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was released over here. I got released in March 1999 in Britain. Um, but this is when I picked up in, uh, like I say, in Florida. I really wanted it. Um, it's the best, the, the most decent version copy I could have found. The other ones, obviously, the, the other presets I had, they're very old, very worn. But I wanted a pristine copy. Um, obviously, being VHS back then, it was like you thought it was much better than the other versions. Um, but like I said, in America, they always re release theirs on slipcase anyway. Everything's on slipcase in, in the States. Um, it's only the England you get the, like the hard cover boxes. Um, this is by MPI Home Video. So I was lucky to have this one. In fact, when I was going through customs, they did check my bag. So I knew it was banned over here. I didn't know if they were going to check it and, and confiscate it, but they didn't. And I got it through and I was quite... Uh, I was quite pleased that they didn't confiscate it. But you see this one's got a picture of uh, Marilyn Burns on there and and a picture of uh, Leatherface in his um, little outfit there. Um, but this is probably the best copy at the time when I bought it. The best copy of Texas Chainsaw Massacre had. The picture was very, very good. Obviously, DVD wasn't... It was DVD was just coming out at the time. I think so they wouldn't have never released it so this is the best this is the, I had to, had to get it on video so that's that version and then I picked up another version this is another one from the States uh, like I said I picked this up from a video fair, video fair. again this is a slip box case um, imagine it would have been up here and imagine there would have been flaps here and here and it just opened up so like from the bottom I'm not really sure because 
so I put blue tack on there just to keep it so it doesn't fall out. Um, but I do like this is pretty cool artwork on here. I, I do like this. This is very good, very very interesting. Again, you've got pictures on the back, which I think which I find quite inter interesting as well. Um, so those are the two American releases. Um, I knew there was quite a few of them about, but this is obviously I've seen this one. I wanted it picked up straight away, and this one I found on eBay. And I thought that's quite interesting, picked it up. So this is uh, these are the two American releases. Okay, now in 1999, um, the BBFC actually granted um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre for an 18 uh, certificate. Blue Dolphin uh, put forward for for a cinema release. It was passed. Um, uncut and then um, it ran through the cinema um, I saw I saw it back in 1999 it was the first time I saw Texas Chainsaw I mean Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out in 74 um, I wasn't born until 76 so I wouldn't have got to see it the first time round but I got to see it the second time round I absolutely loved it um, so I mean this artwork you can see here this is the original British quad poster version that would have been for the movie back in the day and I'm not sure why they didn't bring out this kind of um, video cover back in the 80s because this was the original poster for it it was only, nine, only in 1999 that they, they that Blue Dolphin they, they released it into a video box um, with the original artwork on there um, <clears throat> like I said it was a, a completely uncut um, I picked this up from Blockbuster, uh, quite cheap. I thought I have to have it in my collection because this is, this is the original cover, but obviously a repressed, not the original film as it came out in the 80s. Um, on the back, like I say, a few pictures and the BBFC certificate, etc., etc. on the back. Um, VHS PAL uh, version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre which I prefer over than the other ones, particularly myself, because, it's, like I said, it's the original cover. Um, but this is the uh, British version uh, for videos, is this one here. Now, this is 25 years anniversary special edition. Again, this was signed, again, by Gunnar Hansen. Um, I picked this off, off of a website. I can't, I, I can't remember which website I've got this from. Um, it didn't have a uh, the signature on it at the time, but when I met Gunnar Hansen in, well, I live in Bristol, England, and I went over to Cardiff, and he was there signing for Bid and Planet. I took the first preset and this one over for him to sign. He signed both. He was very good and signed both of them for me, which was which was pretty nice of him. But this is the digital super scan widescreen, and I picked this one up, and this was even the picture quality was even better than the other previous VHS versions that I had. This is the this is the best pitch quality version. I do like this. I, I do like the, the the cover's not bad. It's a bit plain, but it's got at least it's got Leatherface on there looking at his meanest, which is which is my favourite picture of of um of the of Gunnar Hansen at his best. So I'm guessing it was released in i I'm not sure who the video Vipco it's released by Vipco. And Vipco basically they did they brought out a lot of horror. Um Vipco was renowned for their horrors in the 80s and basically when Vip, Vipco ceased trading they came out back out again and they re-released -re a load of horror on DVD most of it was cut um, back in the days of uh, when, when DVD first came on the market and Vipco came out again and released a load of horror back on video but it was awfully cut by uh, the BBFC which I didn't like um, but obviously this film being uncut by the BBFC anyway They've given it a brand new sort of um, digital remaster scan for VHS, which at the time, which was very, very good. Um, so that's not bad. So that's that's all the videos I have in this in my collection. Obviously, a couple signed, a couple of the original ones, um, and um, yeah. So the next one I go on to is the DVDs, uh, which will lead up to the uh, to the uh, Blu-ray.